Hi, welcome again to a 5 minute review. Today we will start by placing air terminal. For doing that, I will go here to a ceiling plan, level 2 for example, and I will place here my air terminal. Before I place uh, any air terminal, I want to show you how to tag here in a ceiling plan or the uh, all the spaces. For example, if I go to annotate and I go tag all here and I go for example choosing uh, sorry I choose go to choosing a space here space tag and I apply for example and here you see I tagged all my spaces in my ceiling plan okay Back again to uh, Air Terminal, okay? I will place here in this instruction room, I will place my Air Terminal. I go for, for doing that, I go to System here, and I go to Air Terminal. You see it? Air Terminal here in HVAC panel here, okay? Go Air Terminal. And before I start placing anything, I will see the families they are loaded in the project the air terminal families they are loaded in the project i have here bush de soufflage sorry for french but uh, this one is the air terminal for supply okay i click here and when i want to place it it doesn't show up i i didn't click uh, but i just want to pay attention to where i will put it because if i put it here I am in a level 2 ceiling plan and I have here no elevation entry but I don't know the height of the ceiling and I just escape and go to annotate here and I will go to spot elevation here to, to see what is my elevation for the ceiling and here I have like 6096 for uh, millimeters from the sea level. You know, you know from the sea level if i want to just to have the elevation from the project uh, level uh, for from the project base point i will edit here and just i go that's a little trick you can do and elevation origin i want to see relative okay if i do that i will have here from uh, from the level uh, for from the level one i have like two that uh, makes sense, uh, 2,488. Uh, now I can go for my here to system and air terminal. And now I can go s select my air terminal here and I enter the elevation here, for example, 2,438 and enter. Now I am able to see it, okay? Now I can place it here, for example, if you see, I have the, the here, the grid for the ceiling. I can place it and then I will align it. Put click like that and escape couple of time. Now, if I want to here for the, uh, for the uh, airflow uh, arrow, I, you can uh, remove it or you can keep it. I don't like it. I just remove it and i go here to modify escape and i go to modify and i click to align and i will align here with this one and align with this one you can for example lock it if you want but don't lock it because that it will be changed so many times okay now i have my air terminal i can select it and i go here copy and i check my option bar and I click on multiple maybe you can use constraint also and I copy from here to here and continue copy my air terminal I just copy it like that to show you how you can design your air terminal now I copy all this I can for example if I want to move them here in the middle I can select all like that and go to move and now i can move them here if you want and if i want to copy them i go to copy and i copy them to the other room like that 
you get the idea. Escape couple of times. Now you know how to add the air terminal in your mechanical project. Don't forget to subscribe and be aware about the notification for the next video. Thank you for watching.